Good morning, everyone. It's so lovely to have you with us today. Welcome, 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 all our family, um, our prayer family, our intercessors, amen, our generals, our military. You know, in the, the kingdom of God, there's a military command, amen. We're part of the army, and this is what our prayer is all about, being part of God's army, amen, um, just facilitating his kingdom purposes on the earth. So welcome, Lorraine. Good morning. Good morning. As you can see, I'm in a different location today. I'm actually in the east. Um, I'm on a ministry trip, and so I've um, been very privileged to be able to continue just um, doing the broadcast. So welcome, Jeffrey. Good morning. Welcome, Ina. Thank you for coming on and just bless you today. Why don't you just share this um, with your family, um, with your friends, amen. It's a special broadcast today simply because um, it's Israel once again that we're going to um, be broadcasting to, uh, 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 broadcasting about. Um, Haley, welcome, sorry, Pearl Joy, welcome, welcome, welcome. And so we just praise God for what he's going to do in this broadcast today, amen. So just share it with your friends and your family um, because I've got some special things I want to share about Israel today. So welcome Lorna, welcome Andre, Robbie and Teresa all the way from Oman. Um, praise God for you. Elise Liebenberg, Khalid Janssen from Durban. Amen. We're really trusting God for Natal. We, we need a, a, a national day of repentance for Natal. And pray that that comes together so God can save Natal. Yvonne Peterson, Verena, welcome Sandra. Thank you for coming on. I trust that your move has gone well, Sandra. Sonette Mulman, bless you, Sonette. Moggy, welcome Moggy. Thank you for coming on. George, thank you for being with us. George from Swellendam, Claire, welcome, welcome. Yes, all our wonderful prayer warriors who make time in this early morning amen leone um irene welcome irene so good to have you with us just share it with your friends today marley combring congratulations on your son's graduation marley um so pleased for you children are an inheritance from the lord amen and as we pass the blessing down to them amen they do greater things than what we do um, as their parents. Nantlala, welcome Nantlala from Birch Acres. Thank you for holding the fort there um, in terms of the governance um, of Kempton Park. Amen. Jeanette Edgar, I haven't answered your email yet. Jeanette, I will get to it. Welcome, welcome. God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. Amen. Um, it's another day of victory for all of us. Welcome, dear Lindy Oberholzer. Welcome, Alna. Yes, Alna from Tsanin, Lindy from Swani, whose husband is holding the fort for Eskom. So just pray for them as a couple. Pamela, welcome. Good morning, Pamela. So nice to see you. So I've changed location today. For those of you who've just come on, I'm actually in the east. I'm on a ministry trip. I'm not saying where because it could be um, for security purposes. But welcome, Ethel, Hada. God bless you. Thank you for coming on. Yes, today we want to look at some things about Israel and, and you know, Pentecost is coming up. And isn't it so amazing that in this time, just before Pentecost, Israel was able to gain um, status as a nation. Good morning, Hilary, Greg. Welcome, welcome. Betsy Brunt. Yes, we pray for Kocha and we decree life over Kocha. We decree Rain is coming, amen, that the curse is broken on the land there, amen. Ananda, welcome Ananda from Modi Moli. Um, yes, we just praise God for you. Nao, good well, good morning, Nao. Nao's from Randburg. We just thank God for you today, amen. So, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's another day of victory, amen, no matter where we find ourselves um, in this big wide world, amen, no matter what we find our circumstance, it's another day of victory. And you know, the kingdom of God is within us. 
and the power of the kingdom of God within us is stronger, amen, to bring change wherever we go. Welcome Luanda um, from Modi Molly, amen, holding the fort there in Modi Molly. Welcome, welcome, amen. Modi Molly um, is transforming, um, the government there is transforming, and we want to see the kingdom of God come in that area of Limpopo, amen. So hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you for our prayer time today. Lord, we thank you for um, uh, thank you for each faithful intercessor this morning, Lord, for those that have stood up early, Lord, and for those, Lord, that um, no matter what our circumstances, Lord, we committed to pray for our great nation, to pray for the nations of the world, Lord, to pray for our territories, our provinces, to pray for our cities, to pray for our government, Lord. And even as we just pray for Israel this morning, we want to pray for um, the Ukraine. We want to pray for Russia, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for Putin, Lord, for what you're going to be doing there. And, you know, it's just so wonderful that even at this time, amen, um, between Pentecost and between um, uh, uh, Pentecost and Passover, Israel was able to gain her independence in 1948, and it was on um, the 4th to the 5th of May, that day, that Israel gained her independence, she gained her sovereignty, she gained her national status as a country, as an independent country, amen, and I want to share just a few things this morning about the blessing on Israel, and you know, I'm a firm believer in Genesis 12, verses 1 to 3, that as you bless Israel, God blesses you. Amen. That blessing comes upon you. And God wants to bless you this morning with the same blessing that he um, has blessed Israel. Amen. You will begin to see your life change as you get this revelation. And so um, on the, f the celebration is from the evening of the 4th to um, the evening of the 5th. And this is the one official national holiday in the year. Um, it's a non-working day in Israel. And truly, if we um, revert back um, to 1948, when Israel was given their independence as a nation, okay, um, the Jews were able to return home after 2,000 years of exile, um, known as the diaspora. And so if we look at Africa today, and we look at so many countries um, many of our people are in the diaspora, you know, I'm here in the East, um, and there are many, many Filipinos, there are many, many um, Koreans, um, various people from Asia are here, part of the diaspora, they're working. Many um, Africans are um, in the United States, they're in England, they're in various parts of the world. Good morning, Caroline. And it's part of the diaspora. We have many Zimbabweans in our own nation. It's part of this diaspora. And um, we have Somalians, many Africans in South Africa. Good morning, Gilbert. Good morning, Leanne. Um, Alna, thank you for coming on. Good morning, Ada Leone. Amen. And so um, uh, the scripture, I just want to share two scriptures with you. It says in Zechariah 10 verse 9, it says, When I scatter them among the peoples, they will remember me in far countries, okay? And they will be with their children and will live and will come back to the land. Isn't that incredible that even um, 2,000 years ago, um, when the scriptures were written, more than 2,000 years, um, God knew and he knew ahead of time that the diaspora would take place, but yet um, the Jewish people would return to their land. And it says in Isaiah 11, 11 to 12, it says, Then it will happen on that day that the Lord will again recover the second time with his hand the remnant of his people who will remain. Okay, These are really a remnant of people from Assyria, Egypt, Pathos, Cush, Elam, Shana, Hamath, and the islands of the sea, the diaspora, okay, and he will lift up a standard for the nations and assemble the banished ones of Israel and will gather the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. He will bring them back, and that's what took place in 1948 um, when Israel, the nation of Israel, 
was rebirthed, okay? And this was an incredible challenge because, you see, um, uh, 1.2 million people returned to Israel, okay? And there was no food to feed them. Can you imagine all these people returning? Um, it was just desert, a land just um, of complete desert, and there had to be housing for them to live in. And um, looking at the natural resources, okay, there was no large industry to provide them employment. You know, there was no health care system. Welcome, Nontlala. Um, thank you for coming on. There was no health care system. There was no infrastructure to absorb. Um, it was like a tsunami of immigrants, okay. But that didn't stop them from coming back because you know what guided them and you know what um, directed them was the word, the word of the Lord, amen. And still today, many are returning to Israel, known as Aliyah, okay? And we even um, noticed in the Ukraine war how many um, moved from Ukraine and they were able to return back to Israel. And so here were these penniless, um, they were broken people, you know, they were Holocaust survivors whose entire families had been murdered. And this was the difficulty, um, but yet they faced a, a, an existential threat, okay? 23,000 of them were conscripted into Israel's new army, and this army had to be built in a matter of weeks and months. Excuse me there. Okay, so Israel's founding fathers had um, an incredible challenge in building up this nation. They had to build a nation from scratch. I would encourage you to just go on Google and have a look at some pictures of this nation that was complete desert, okay? And it's as big as the Kruger Park in South Africa. So within months, you see that they created a justice system, a police force. They created courts and laws. They created an entire new government. And these were the first um, uh, democratic elections in the Middle East, okay? And in the Middle East, it really is Israel's only real democracy. Bless you, Paul Richard. Thank you for coming on from Nairobi, Kenya. Well, bless you today, amen, and we bless Kenya because of her um, ties with Israel. Um, and so here, this nation was born, okay, the Jewish state, and in in. Um, incredible circumstances, and this is why David Ben-Gurion, who's the first Prime Minister of Israel, um, says, you know, that this um, nation is a complete miracle of history, and truly, truly it is. If we look at the nation today, and there's one, um, one thing about the scripture that I just want to um, read to you. It says that the remnant of Israel will remain, and then in Isaiah 11, and he says, he will lift up a standard for the nations. Now, isn't this incredible that God is using Israel as a standard for the nations? Amen. And just as Israel was built up, and you might find in your personal life today that you are facing challenges and that you are facing situations coming against you, you will be built up. And um, the one thing that Israel has had to endure more than any other nation on the earth is terror attacks. And here at this time, we find that their sovereignty um, is, is uh, you know, nations are wanting to remove their sovereignty. Um, look at the, you know, the various Islamic nations. Look at the United Nations. World bodies reject them and, and don't um, respect their land um, policies, um, you know, um, and and so we are looking um, at at um, God just restoring a nation, and um, they've suffered so much terror. Could can you imagine the psychological um, 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 trauma? Um, and and you and I um, in our lives through various circumstances we go through psychological 
trauma, okay, and um, particularly people that have had to move out of their own land, you know, psychological trauma, having to um, leave your family and build um, in, in a new home, um, in a new land. But we thank God for Israel today, amen, and God is using Israel, and just the word of the Lord for you and I today is that as he and restored Israel, okay, he is able to restore you today, amen, as he um, restored Israel, he is able to restore your family, he's able to restore your ministry, I feel that there's somebody on here today that you feel your ministry is just closing down, that nothing's happening for you, that somehow ministry has been taken away from you, God is able to restore, amen, and he wants us to um, be aligned in our spirit. He wants us to be aligned in our hearts, and God wants to give us this morning a love for Israel, amen. He wants to give us a love for the Jewish people, these people that have suffered so much, and you know, the scripture says that we've been engrafted into the vine, amen, Yes, Vicky, God is a God of restoration, amen. We've been engrafted into the vine, and so we have the Jewish blessing on us. The Bible says that the gospel is first to the Jews, then to the Gentiles. And so we have to pray that our Jewish brothers and sisters, even in this time between um, um, Passover and Pentecost, that the Spirit would be poured out. You see, the Spirit was poured out on on. Um, um, Peter, the Spirit was poured out on the disciples, amen, and so Lord, we say thank you today, you know, God can restore, he can restore anything in our lives, and the word of the Lord is restoration, 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 realignment for you, amen, healing for your bodies, for those that are experiencing um, various challenges in their bodies, you know, and this time of COVID, where so many have lost jobs, you see, you many today are finding themselves in a wilderness situation. Look at the wilderness of the nation of Israel in 1948, amen? But look what God has done to bless her, to restore her splendor, to realign her, amen? And so, Lord, I thank you today. Father, even as we pray for Israel today, Lord, as we pray, Lord, for her peoples, Lord, as we pray for this time between Passover and Pentecost, Lord, that you would truly begin to restore and open the eyes of the Jewish people. Lord, this nation that has been restored, that is a total miracle in the earth, Lord, that you are using as a standard for all the other nations, Lord. Father, even the diaspora that we find in Africa, Lord, African nations broken down, Lord, and many nations, Haiti, and, and many nations in the East, Lord. Lord, we think of Ukraine and Russia, Lord. Father, I say thank you today that the word of the Lord is restoration and reformation. God brought reformation, amen. But, um, the, the agricultural um, um, uh, sector of um, the Israeli society is of the best in the world. You know, the scripture says that he, the desert will bloom again. And, and, and the, the, the production of flowers and and the production of, of plants, etc. Plant life is just um, uh, world class. And so, Lord, I thank you today as we pray for your people. Lord, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem today. Lord, we ask you to come upon your people today. God, that you would give them um, a light, Father, light for the blindness, Lord, that you would open their eyes to the glorious light of the gospel, that they would begin to perceive Yeshua and um, Hamashiach, Lord, as their Messiah, their Messiah has come, Lord. Father, we think of even those um, Jewish um, uh, reformers, Lord, Messianic Jews, Father, I say thank you, Lord, that you would bless them during this time, that you would increase their sphere of influence, Lord, in Israel, Lord. Yes, Lord, we say thank you for the fire, Lord, upon that nation, Lord. Father, we ask you for the fire of spiritual revival, Lord, that this curse of religion, that's what it is, it's a curse of religion that is holding them back. There's tremendous religious bondage in Israel. If you visit Israel, 
your witness and your pick it up as you walk the streets, as you go down to the temple and, and you just mingle amongst the people. You'll sense that tremendous religious bondage, that religious spirit that is um, stifling the life of the Holy Spirit out of the land. And so, Lord, today we're asking you, Lord, Father, we come and we present Israel before you as a nation, Lord. Father, we say thank you for allowing, uh, aligning um, us, Lord, as um, intercessors, Father, as, as prayer warriors from South Africa and the surrounds African nations, Lord, that we could be a blessing, Lord. Father, we stand with our Jewish brothers. Lord, we think of the Messianic um, Jewish organizations like Jews for Jesus, Lord. Father, we thank you for International Christian Embassy that are doing such wonderful work in Israel, Lord. We thank of the Jewish, the Messianic um, uh, um, congregations, Lord, in Israel, Lord. And Lord, we just say thank you, Lord. We pray for the peace, Lord. We stand, Lord, um, even for um, um, uh, 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 Israeli believers, Lord, that are, are having difficulty even in this time, Lord, difficulty financially. And yes, they, you know, the Israeli um, people are an entrepreneurial people. Look how God has blessed them. They have the best IT in the world. Lord, we want to pray for um, um, uh, Bridges for Peace, Lord, another Messianic Jewish organization. If you know of any, just list them. Let's pray for them. They're doing such wonderful work. Amen. And so, Lord, we want to decree um, health and healing upon um, this nation today. We want to decree peace, Lord. We say thank you for the protection of the Mount of Olives, Lord. We say thank you for the protection on the East Gate, Lord. Father, we say thank you today, Lord. Yes, we stand as one with Israel, Lord. We stand as one, Father, um, we say thank you, Lord, that we can uphold this nation in the spirit. Lord, the place where Jesus walked, Lord, that we can be one with Israel today. Lord, we ask you during this time between Pentecost, Lord, and, and between Passover, we ask for a moving of your spirit that you would come upon the nation, Lord. Lord, we ask you even these threats of war from the north, the south, the east, and the west, Lord, where the nations are gathering together against Israel, Lord. Father, we say thank you that you will prevail, Lord. Your word will prevail. Lord, we say thank you, Lord, even for the land question, Lord. Father, that, Lord, that there would be peace and there would be equity because it's your your land. It's the, it's the right, Lord, for your people to be able to return to their land. We say thank you today. We say thank you for your grace, Lord. We say thank you for your favor today. Lord, we want to bless the nation. We bless it with peace today, Lord. We bless the, the eyes of the Jewish people to be opened, Lord, to their Messiah, to, um, their, uh, to uh, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, even as South Africans, as Kenyans, Zimbabweans, Lord, those that are watching, even um, <clears throat> from England this morning, Lord, even uh, in Oman, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We want to bless them. We want to bless them. We say even thank you, Lord, for Paul Wilbur Ministries. We say thank you. We want to bless them, Lord. Open the eyes, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, for the nations of the world, Lord. Yes, you you know, even as we pray, I sense the anger of God against nations that <clears throat> are standing up against Israel. Um, Lord, I want to pray for England today, God, that you would bring a reformation and that you would bring such a change, Lord, Father, in their heart towards Israel, Lord. Lord, we ask you, we ask you, we ask you, Lord, for reformation. Father, I thank you today for the blessing to come upon your people, Lord, for the blessing, Lord, upon um, your intercessors today, that they would begin even at this time between Pentecost, Lord, and between Passover. Father, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you. Yes, yes. Prosperity within your palaces. Peace within your gates, your walls. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you for this nation, Lord, that you have raised up as a standard, as an example, Lord, as a miraculous representation of restoration. And I release the blessing of restoration. I release the blessing of health. 
I release the blessing of wealth upon you today. Amen. Let your barns overflow with new wine today. Let your um, uh, barns overflow with prosperity and such blessing. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabbi Shekiano. Father, we pray for the Jewish rabbis today, Lord. Father, we pray for the Messianic rabbis, Lord. Lord, I pray for the Spirit of the Lord to fall upon them today. Lord, let the Spirit of Pentecost fall upon them, Lord. Father, let miraculous signs and wonders come upon them, Lord. Father, we yes, we want to bless ministries like Amir Safati. We say thank you for him, Lord. We say thank you. Let the Spirit of Pentecost fall upon him, Lord. Open the eyes, Lord, even of the religious believers, that they would be able to um, know you, Lord. We pray for one for Israel ministries as well, Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabbi Shekiando, Rabbi Kassando. Lord, we bless him. We pray for David Siegel ministries today. Yes, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you for complete deliverance. God is going to bring complete deliverance to some of you. I'm seeing it. Complete deliverance as you're praying. Yes, we say thank you today. We say thank you. His arm is not shortened that it cannot save. God is going to bring some of you out of complete um, I see a dry desert for some of you. The Lord is saying that he's going to open um, the, the uh, I see like this this trickle of water and it's, uh, it's uh, going to become a river, amen, as God opens and he realigns. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Yes, we ask you, Lord, give them the revelation of Messiah, Lord. Give them the revelation, Lord. Oh, Rabbi Shikian, we say thank you today. Yes, Rabbi Jason Sobel, we bless him today. We bless these rebels. Uh, we bless the, yes, they rebels. Amen. They rebels to the um, Antichrist system. They rebels, yes, to religion. Amen. Father, we say thank you today. Oh, Rabbi Shikian, Rabbi Sando. Father, we praise you, Lord. Lord, we say thank you for your grace today. You're a God of grace. You're a God of grace. That, Lord, you will pour out upon the church the spirit of grace and supplication for Israel today. Yes, you know, I feel that even some of you in your business, that God wants to just um, give you some business dealings with Israel. Some I'm seeing some of you. God is going to give you connections with Israel, he's going to give you connection um, um, with the, in business dealings with some Jewish people. And, and Lord, we just say thank you. We just say thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabbi Sarabliando, Rabbi Kassando. Lord, we say thank you for new doors that are going to be open. I see new trade agreements for some of you, amen, with Israeli businessmen. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you today. Lord, we bless you. We say thank you for your spirit upon us, Lord. Oh, Rabbi Shikian, you are such a good God, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the spirit of Pentecost. Lord, I pray, even as we approach Pentecost, I thank you that it will come upon us in great power, that it will come upon Israel, Lord. Father, we pray, Lord, for um, uh, the land question, Lord. Father, ask, we ask you, Lord, um, Lord, for all those that are returning, Lord, we bring these settlements before you, and we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Father, for um, the Muslim, Lord, that has a love for Israel, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, for the Palestinians that love Israel. Lord, I want to pray even, Lord, for um, um, the Messianic Jewish influence, Lord, um, even into Palestine, Lord. Father, I say thank you today. Lord, let there come such a change, Lord. Father, let there be, I pray for that little church, Lord, that is in Palestine today, God. Father, I say thank you, Lord. I say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. This nation that you have chosen to bless the world. You know, this is the thing. God has chosen this nation to bless the world. He's, 
He's chosen this nation as an example, amen, as a standard. And this must be our standard. You see, our personal standard. This must be the standard as we as South Africans or we as Zimbabweans or wherever you're watching from today and you're representing a certain nation, amen, the, um, as your nation, as you represent and you look at Israel today, this is the standard. This is the standard that we must um, um, admire and, and, and aspire to, amen, that South Africa could have the same um, standard of governance, amen, standard of infrastructure. I mean, you just have to go to Israel and look at their roads and, and their, 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 their water, their, the infrastructure of the cities, Lord, we're asking you today, Lord, even as South Africans today, Lord, we want to repent. Father, um, today, once again, Lord, we want to, um, every nation represented um, on this broadcast today, Lord, I repent for this nation that I'm um, currently in, in the East here, Lord. Lord, I want to repent today for the, the, um, the um, mocking of Israel. I want to repent today, Lord, um, on behalf of your people. We repent as South Africans, Lord, for turning away from Israel. Lord, we repent, Lord, we bring our politicians and their hard hearts before you, Lord. Father, those that would mock is Israel, dear God, those that would hate and despise Israel, Lord, we're asking you, Lord. Father, I bring the KwaZulu-Natal government before you, Lord, who turned away from Israel, who despised and who mocked Israel. Lord, you know, even the Japanese government many years ago before, for the tsunami, um, um, at, uh, uh, you know, was released upon Japan. They openly mocked and they openly despised Israel. And we just have to look at certain countries in the world that have turned and mocked and despised Israel openly. And we see many times for the United States how God sent hurricanes to certain areas. Why? It's the judgment so he can bring restoration. And you know, God's arm is not shortened that it cannot save. His mercy and his grace triumphs over judgment. And Lord, we South Africa has been judged. We call for the new standard today. We call for the new standard for Natal, Lord. Father, we pray even today, God, for a day of repentance, a national day of repentance for KwaZulu Natal today, Lord. Father, we're asking you, we're asking you, we're asking you, we're asking you for Zimbabwe this morning, Lord, where Zimbabwe has has um uh, signed so many agreements with Iran, Lord, and Iran, an antichrist system, an antichrist nation, Lord. Father, we're asking you today, almighty God, we say thank you, Lord, that you will come and bring change to Zimbabwe, that, Lord, you will bring a new government, Lord. Father, we thank you for what you're doing in Zambia, Lord, how you brought reformation and change, Lord. And, Father, we say thank you. We say thank you, Lord. Lord, we call for a new standard for our nation, Lord. We call for the new standard for Zimbabwe, Lord, for um, the nations around us, Kenya, Lord. We call for the new standard for Mozambique, Lord. Oh, Lord, we call for the new standard in our nation, Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord. We call for the new standard for KwaZulu-Natal, Lord. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Lord, bring an awakening, bring an awakening, bring an awakening. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabashikianda, Rabasanda. I call for the new standard in every person's life here today, a new financial standard. I call for the new standard for their families, yes. I call for the new standard in government. I call for the new standard, yes, in your workplace, in your work situation this morning. I call for the new standard in healing for your bodies. I call for the new standard. That's the word of the Lord today. Amen. We call for the new standard, a new standard, a new standard. Yes, we bless Leslie Moon Sammy. We call for the new standard in him, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, a new standard in the Messianic 
the Jewish ministries, Lord, increase their sphere of influence, Lord. Increase their sphere of influence, Lord. Give them favor, Lord. Give them favor amongst their own peoples. We say thank you, Lord, a new standard, Lord. Father, open our eyes to Messiah even at this time. Lord, I thank you for a new standard in terms of of the um, outpouring of the Spirit upon Pentecost, the day of Pentecost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for those that, Lord, you are preparing. I'm seeing the wineskins. God is preparing us. Even as we ask for the wineskin to be prepared, amen. Lord, we ask you this morning for a new standard as you prepare the wineskin. Bring a new standard of healing, Lord. Bring a new standard of faith in our lives, Lord, that we could press into the promised land in faith. We press in for South Africa in faith. Bring a new standard to our nation, Lord. Father, we're asking you, bring a new standard of peace, Lord. Bring a new standard of governance, Lord. A new standard of excellence for South Africa, Lord. And for the nation surrounding, Lord, South Africa. For the diaspora, bring a new standard, Lord. Bring them home, Lord. Let them be such um, hope, we ask you, Lord, for Africans that you bring them home, Lord. Oh, we say thank you, Lord. A new standard for us today, a new standard in our workplace. Yes, we say thank you that you're going to favor the righteous, Lord. You're going to favor the righteous. You're going to favor the righteous. And you're going to favor those that love Israel, that stand with Israel. Lord, we say thank you. A new standard over Pentecost, Lord. I pray for a special blessing, Lord. Let your spirit be poured out. Yes, I call for the new standard in the cities that are represented here this morning, Lord. We say a new standard for Johannesburg, for Ekuleni, for Ethukini, Lord. We say a new standard for um, uh, Kraburka. We say a new standard for East London, for Bloemfontein. We say a new standard for George and Cape Town. A new standard, a new standard, a new standard, Lord. A new standard, Father, we say thank you, Lord, that nations will turn to Israel, Lord. Father, because they are the standard, and we say thank you, Lord, for a new standard. God is bringing forth a new standard for the Eastern Cape, for Tswani. We say thank you, Lord. Yes, for Freiburg. Lord, every city represented here today, a new standard, a new standard of governance, Lord. Lord, we say even thank you this morning that you're going to bring a new standard for and the Ukraine, Lord, yes, new standards of integrity and honesty, a new standard for Modi Molly, Freiburg. We say thank you, Lord, a new standard, a, a work ethic, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, oh, a new standard in education. God is going to bring forth a new standard of education in our nation. Amen. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord, for sandbox. We say thank you, Lord. Oh, new doors to be open, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Lord. And even a new standard for the Ukraine. Amen. You know, if we consider Israel and we consider where the Ukraine is today and these terrible bombings and the state of the cities, it's going to take a miracle to rebuild this nation. But, Lord, we say thank you for Zelensky, who is a man who loves you. He's an orthodox Jew. He loves God. And we say thank you, Lord, for a new standard for him, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, that you're going to breathe upon him, Lord, even in his um, bunker today, wherever he be, Lord, as we move into Pentecost, Lord. Father, we say thank you for the blessing, the standard that will come to Ukraine, Lord, that you're going to reform and that you're going to restore, almighty God, that the world will look upon Ukraine with new favor, Lord. Father, we say thank you. Peace, peace, peace to Ukraine. The same peace that Israel desires. We say thank you that peace will come to Ukraine, Lord. Restoration and reformation, a new standard for Ukraine. We release it upon Ukraine this morning, a new standard, a new standard, a new standard. Father, that you are using this nation, Lord, 
Israel, Father, we say thank you this morning, Lord. Father, we say thank you. Oh, Rabbi Shikiano. Lord, Father, that you even bring the remnant of the people, Lord, from the islands of the sea, and you lift up a standard. You lift up the standard. Father, that you gathering people from the four corners of the earth, Lord. Lord, we say thank you for the nation of Israel that they will be central, Lord, in helping to rebuild up the Ukraine, Lord. Oh, we just say thank you this morning, Lord. Father, we want to pray for Russia, Lord. Lord, we want to pray, Lord, for um, Putin. Oh, God, we ask you, you know, every time I pray for him, I see this black, this terrible black heart upon him. I see, oh, God, oh, Rabbi Shikiano. Lord, we ask you, if it be possible, Lord, that you give him a, um, a, a, a soul um, to Paul experience, a road of Damascus experience, an encounter almighty God. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Father, we say a new standard, Lord. We say a new standard for the nations of the earth, Lord. We say a new standard, Lord, Father, for Ukraine, Lord. Father, we ask you for a new standard for Putin, Lord, that you open up his eyes, Lord. Father, a new standard for Russia, Lord. Oh, Father, yes, yes. We say thank you, Lord, a new heart. We say thank you, Lord. Father, we even think of Kozulu Natal, Lord, a new standard for Kozulu Natal, Lord. Oh, God, we're asking you this morning, Lord. Lord, we petition heaven this morning, Lord, even between... um. Passover and Pentecost, let a new standard be birthed in our hearts, Lord. Lord, as you preparing the wineskin, Lord. Father, we say thank you today. We say thank you. We say thank you this morning, Lord. You are our standard. We say thank you. A new standard of health. Amen. I speak health over each one of you this morning. I speak deliverance. I speak a new standard. Yes, we just thank you this morning, Lord, for your grace and your glory. Oh, Rabbi Shikiano, we prophesy life today. Yes, we say thank you. Whatever we put our hands to today, the blessing of the Lord will be upon it. Amen. Lord, we say thank you. A new standard in the church, Lord. We're asking you for a new standard in the church, Almighty God, that you would open the eyes of our leaders, Lord. Lord, we pray today, Lord, the word of the Lord is a new standard for each one of us. God is upgrading your standards, amen. He's going to upgrade your living conditions. He's going to upgrade your family, amen. He's going to upgrade your education, even somebody on this broadcast is desiring to study amen god is going to open the way for you to study a new standard of education a new standard of finances amen god is going to make the way for some of you to become so prosperous somebody um needs to study a, a course in business amen you're asking god what what is the next step he's saying to you you need to study a course a business course amen um, you know, the one thing about the kingdom of God is that we never stop learning. Amen. No matter how old we are, wherever we come from, we never stop learning. Amen. Some of you, um, God wants to put on, on uh, accounting courses, business courses, financial courses. Amen. A new standard for you financially. You know, God's not just going to bless us. Amen. Um, and we don't have the right education to contain that blessing. Sometimes he holds the blessing back from us so that we would upgrade our standard, allow him to do that in us so that the blessing could be um, um, maintained and sustained. Amen. Lord, we say thank you today. Lord, I say thank you for a new standard. I speak life, Lord. I speak life to South Africa today. I speak life to Israel, Lord. I speak life to each one of us, Lord, who are on this broadcast today, a new standard. Lord, Father, we ask for a new, a new standard in this war, Lord, a standard of peace, Lord. We call for peace for Ukraine. We call for peace, 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 peace for Ukraine. We decree peace to Putin's heart. Oh, God, we ask you for an encounter, Lord, if it's possible. 
Lord, you know the state of this man's heart, Lord. We ask you, Lord, for peace and a new standard, Lord, that he would see Messiah, Yeshua, HaMashiach. We say thank you, Lord. Just, Lord, your your um, birth on that cross, your death on that cross, Lord. Father, is able was able 2,000 years ago, and that standard, Lord, um, still remains today. That standard is salvation. That standard is salvation body, soul, and spirit. And so we thank you for that this morning, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you. Lord, we praise you. We praise you. Let's say we receive that new standard. We receive that standard of health. Amen. We receive that standard of deliverance this morning. We receive it for the Ukraine. We receive that standard of peace, Lord. We receive it today. We receive that standard of Peace, Lord, for Jerusalem today. We receive that standard of a new governance and model for South Africa, a new government in 2024. We receive a new standard, Lord, for our cities today. We receive a new standard for the church today. Yes, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Open the eyes of the blind today, Lord. It's not just about numbers. It's about men and women with the kingdom of God birthed inside of them. Amen. Lord, we say thank you. We receive that new standard today. Amen. And that standard is found in his body and in his blood. Amen. Why don't you just go and get your communion elements if you don't have them with you amen as we just prepare um to take communion now as we take it for our cities as we take it for the nation of israel amen for ukraine amen lord we say thank you this morning lord we say thank you for your grace upon us lord we praise you we just praise you we honor you this morning, Lord. We honor you. We say thank you, Lord, that we can partake in the standard of the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, as we partake and as we are aligned to his standard, his standard of healing, his standard of prosperity. Lord, we just say thank you this morning. Amen. <clears throat> yes, Lord. Yes, Jerusalem is our standard. <clears throat> Israel is our standard. Israel is our standard. We just say thank you this morning, Lord. We say thank you that there's a standard in the earth. Can you imagine if there wasn't a standard, if there wasn't a, a nation um, <clears throat> that, you know, and Israel belongs to God, it's his land, and we can have all the, the other, uh, you know, the every um, every other territory in the world, amen, on the globe. But in Israel, this little piece of land belongs to God. And here this little piece of land is a standard for us as nations, for governments to look to, to emulate, amen, to build upon. Father, we say thank you today. We say thank you. And Lord, I thank you for a new standard for every family represented here. I thank you for a new standard for every um, financial dilemma, Lord, a new standard, a new work ethic, Lord. I say thank you for a new standard for South Africa, Lord, that you moving her, Lord, into a new sphere of governance. We want to proclaim and prophesy that according to Ezekiel 37, the prophet said, what do you see? We see South Africa arising. Amen. We see peace um, in Israel. Amen. We see a new standard for our homes and our families, our marriages, our finances, our work situations. Amen. What looks impossible with man is possible with God. We say thank you this morning. Let faith arise. I thank you, Lord. I release. Let's just lift up our hands and I want to release a new standard of faith in you. Receive that impartation of faith. I release it upon your people this morning, Lord. I say thank you, Lord. Let faith arise. Let faith arise where there's such darkness, Lord. We thank you that the standard is faith even at this day and this time and this hour. The standard is faith. The standard is faith. The standard is faith. I thank you for it this morning, Lord. The standard is faith. The standard is faith for each one of us. Faith in the word, no matter what the enemy tells us. It's faith in the word. It's faith 
in God's promises for us. It's faith in what he's spoken over our lives. It's faith in the, uh, his um, prophetic words. Amen. It's faith for our nation. It's faith, faith, faith is our standard at this time. So you receive that spirit of faith this morning. Receive it. Let the anointing fall upon you. Lord, we call forth. We call forth. We say thank you, Lord, for a new standard of faith rising up. Lord, open the eyes of the blind this morning to be able to call things in that are not as though they are. Amen. And Jesus said, will I find faith on the earth? We say thank you, Lord. Yes, that we will be found as a people of faith today. Amen. Faith in your word. Faith in the kingdom. We receive it today. So as we take the body of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, we take it for the nation of Israel. We take it for South Africa. We take it for Ukraine. We take it for um, Pentecost as we're moving into Pentecost. Amen. We want a, um, a new um, impartation of the Spirit. And so, Lord, we say thank you, Lord, for a new standard of faith um, in, as we um, uh, uh, put our faith in your body and, and the, um, the, the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I release healing. I release deliverance. Let that faith be your standard this morning because without faith it's impossible to um, please him. And faith is the currency of the kingdom. Jesus went to the cross in faith. Amen. And so, Lord, I thank you for the blood today. I proclaim the blood over Israel. I proclaim the blood over the Ukraine, the blood over Putin's heart, Lord, this morning. I proclaim the blood, Lord, over Russia today. Let it be a, a let these nations, South Africa, let Africa, Lord, Mozambique, Kenya, Lord, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Lord, and Namibia, Lord, Angola, all the surrounding nations. Lord, other nations, overseas nations, United States, Lord, even um, the United Nations, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. We say thank you for that blood that it reconciles, it heals, it delivers. The blood speaks in the spirit realm. You see, the blood is a voice this morning. And the blood is calling out for you whatever your need, whether it be reconciliation, whether it be healing, deliverance. We thank you for the blood this morning. I proclaim the blood over people's finances this morning, the blood over their workplace, the blood over their jobs. Lord, we say thank you. The blood, uh, uh, children going off to school this morning, proclaim the blood over them. Amen. Proclaim healing and deliverance. Amen. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you for unity in our nation today. Amen. And so we say um, we honor you today. Thank you, Lord, for this platform, Lord. Thank you that we have this opportunity just to praise you and just to stand together as one. Amen. So God bless you as you take this time um, just to think about a new standard. Amen. A new standard. A new standard. We move into um, our work day today and we move into um, our weekend as we just have a rest. Remember, this is the Shemitah year and everything that we do must be out of rest. Amen. As the blood covers us. The blood covers you. The blood stands against any accident. Somebody is accident prone. The blood stands against that this morning. I break that curse over you. You will no longer be accident prone. And I decree peace and prosperity to you. Well, God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Amen. All honor and victory to him. Shalom coming in and shalom going out. And we will see you on Monday. Amen. Thank you so much for being with us today. Amen. The spirit of the Lord is the standard. Shalom.